Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to start working with PowerPoint or your presentation software. And we are going to take a look at PowerPoint in particular. And to start, we're going to go to the add-in section of Camtasia. Now, if you install the Camtasia add-in when you first start it, you'll have this set of controls as part of your PowerPoint. And it is a TechSmith edition to PowerPoint. Now in order to record your PowerPoint presentation, all you'll need to do is to click the record button. But before you do that, you are going to want to take a look at some of the controls. So let's take a look at the Camtasia recording options for the PowerPoint. Now you're going to notice that there are certain aspects of reusing your recorder and all of these things are going to be adjustable. Now you'll notice that you can edit the PowerPoint presentation in Camtasia after it has been completed. And there are some advantages to recording your presentation this way. Now the disadvantage is the difficulty with using this method as well as integrating your screen share video. So if you want to record your screen at the same time, it's possible, it's just a little more difficult logistically. So what we're going to do is we are going to do some recording with our Camtasia. We're going to allow it then to be opened in Camtasia. Okay, let's go ahead and click OK. And then let's click the record button. And what we're going to do is we're going to click begin to record. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by using this button. Now what's going to happen is this button is going to disappear once we actually start the recording process. So now we are now recording. So we're going to scroll through these pieces. And then we're going to stop the process. Camtasia is going to Camtasia is going to request that we save this video. And then we'll get the choice of either producing our recording or editing our recording and we are going to choose to edit. So what's going to happen is that Camtasia is going to bring this file now into our media bin. And what we're going to do is we are going to now add it to the timeline at the playhead. So taking a closer look at the actual file, and we can take a closer look by expanding it. So we're going to zoom in. It's the same file, we're just making it easy to view. What you're going to notice right away is that you'll see markers in the track at each point. If we want to see those markers, all we need to do is turn on the marker timeline. Now what you're going to notice about those markers is that they denote things that are happening inside of the video. So for example, if we drag to this first marker, you'll notice that the slide changes. If we drag to another marker, you'll notice that the slide changes again. If we drag to another marker, you notice that the slide changes again. If we drag to this marker, then the video ends. It says presentation pause, as you can see it. And you can actually see the names of the slides in the markers. So for example, if we click this link, you'll see that this is the slide optimal computer setup. And this is one of the advantages of using PowerPoint to record. We can actually come back to our editing process and we can edit based on how we have these points situated in the actual video recording. Of course, we could do this manually, but it would be more difficult to do it that way. Now, once again, it's a little more difficult if you want to integrate 
screen sharing video during the recording process, but the TREC file or the recording file is easier to manage because the interaction between Camtasia and PowerPoint gives us these markers automatically when we set up the screen recording. Now we would edit this recording just as if we would edit any other one. And of course we would have audio and then anything that we want to add from our effects menu, we could do that. Okay, so now in the next video, what we're going to do is we are going to go over how you would record PowerPoint if you chose not to use the add-in. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.